Hello chickies, so I am vlogging today because I am traveling with my parents, which is always an eventful time. I gotta flip the camera, I feel like I can't talk to you guys like this. We're going to LA because there is this music convention there called NAM. My dad really wanted to go. It's like been his dream to go and I was finally able to get him tickets. So me and my whole family are going. So my parents are actually probably already at JFK. I didn't even leave my apartment yet, but uh, I'm gonna do that now and we're gonna go. So this is a travel vlog. And Anyways, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm wearing head to toe the new Kelly Rowland collection from Fabletics. It's actually super cute. I also brought a bitchy hoodie with me just in case I get a little colder. And then obviously I just have my bag and my backpack behind me. But uh, we should get going considering the weather also um, because that's definitely going to put a delay in my travels. So I'll talk to you guys uh, in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so obviously I made it to the airport. I'm with my parents. I told them that I was considering calling this vlog traveling day with my very Italian parents and my dad's like, well, I'm not Italian. So this is gonna be travel day with my very, I am very Italian. <laughs> my very Italian and Irish dad and mom. And look, he's wearing bitchy merch. <laughs> I love his board of father. It's gonna be a very bitchy trip. We're all sitting together in one row. It's gonna be interesting. Five and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> Every day you get to see a mountain from 10,000 feet up, okay? I expect you not to call me out when I use my fake ID. So you better not. Will I help you? I'm just gonna look the other way if that helps. Like having an actual lens like this because I could like grab the front of it and just like, oh, wrong way. We made it. My mom's there. She's not saying anything. My dad's in the bathroom, but we're here and we made it and everything's good and dandy. Put my bitchy hoodie on because I'm cold. We have been waiting here for so long. My mom booked like a personal driver to bring us and I guess he's running late. Now we've just been standing outside and it's cold here. We made it. Yay. Are you excited? Psyched. <laughs> Wanna give the audience a room tour? So we have a kitchen, whole kitchen. We have a fantastic, fantabulous view of the basketball court, wow. the game room, wow. the pool, but the it's golf too... course. Oh yes, because I'm sure we're going to be playing a lot of golf. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be here, and Christina's going to sleep over here in the top bunk. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Not. She got her own room. We all feel dead, but we're all gonna like shower and get ready for dinner, and then we're going to dinner. Yeah, we have a glass of freaking wine. What are you kidding? <laughs> oh yeah. <clears throat> Shots of Jack. I see them coming. Shots of Jack. Hi friends. Oh my god, I look so dead. Like literally. I am in my own room now, which I have the same bedroom as my parents. Uh, don't know why there's a bunk bed, but I'm really excited to play on it. I like it up here. It's nice. Except I really, really gotta poop, so I'm gonna get down and do that. I have showered. I feel so much better. Holy shit. I put my moisturizer on and I put my camera on a tripod because I want to set up my camera and show you guys my 15 minute makeup routine that I've been doing lately and I've been loving and it's been great. So let me show you. Makeup routine starting off by putting some lip balm on. I love this stuff. I literally just got it and I've been using it so much. It's the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm. We're going to move on to some primer. I'm using the Too Faced Hangover hangover primer. Clearly I need things for extreme hangovers. This is a really, really great primer if you have dry skin, which I don't. I actually have oily skin. However, my skin is super weird right now because of the winter weather. So I've been opting for more hydrating primers than like 
oil control ones. But this one's great. It's not too hydrating to the point where it's like heavy, so it's perfect. Skip the foundation, skip the concealer. We're doing tinted moisturizer. This is the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. It's the oil-free one. I am a wonderful, wonderful beauty guru. So all I do is just put it on my tips. <laughs> I put it on my tip. And I massage this into my face. You know what? The days of the beauty chicky makeup routine, they're dead. I meant not the beauty chicky makeup routine, the day of beauty chicky's makeup videos are dead. Except for today, I guess, that this is kind of a makeup tutorial, so I guess I'm being a little hypocritical. But you know what I mean, I'm not a beauty guru anymore. When I first started YouTube, I 100% was a beauty guru, and then I decided that I think I'm funny. And so I decided to pursue that instead. Anyways, beauty blender, uh, we're not gonna wet it because because who has the time for that? And I'm just going to kind of go around my face and just like smooth out any harsh lines, which is basically my entire face. Oh my God, you guys are about to get a show. Look, boom, blend it out, beautiful. Anyways, next we're gonna do a powder. Laura Mercier, again. This is the translucent setting powder, but it's the pressed one. I've been using this lately instead of the actual loose setting powder. It like mattifies your face enough, but not to the point where like it takes away like the glow from the tinted moisturizer. So this is what I've been using. My face looks like orange compared to my body in this lighting. It's not though, I promise. Please don't yell at me in the comments and tell me I don't know how to blend my foundation. Please like really don't feel like getting bullied today. Anyways, that looks about all right, cool. Bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is like one of my favorites. I'm going to be doing the three method, which is like, you know, where you just like blend it on your forehead and you know, I'm not doing crazy contour, although it looks like I am. Anyways, we're gonna do blush. This is the NYX Ombre Blush. If only I could open it without breaking a nail. I don't like blushes that are like mega pink, you know? I'm not trying to look like strawberry shortcake up in this bitch. Just enough on the cheeks. Oh my god, I forgot the most important part. Beautiful. Always gotta put a little bit of blush on the nose. That one I learned from grandma. Anyways, highlight. This is the Ma Madison, oh, oh my god. The Ofra Madison Miller highlight in the color Moon Dance. So I'm just going to use those. I'm going to apply the highlight to you know we want to look glowing take a little bit of this on like a uh, eyeshadow brush i'm gonna put that on my brow bone a little bit on the center of my eyelid and then we're also going to take my tiny whiny little brush this is actually a lip brush but we're breaking all the beauty guru rules today i want like a beauty guru like an actual one to watch this video and just cringe at every aspect of what i am probably doing wrong first i apply tinted moisturizer with my hands. I blent it out with a non-wet beauty blender. For God I know I probably applied my friggin powder wrong or some shit. Everything in this video is probably just wrong. We are going to now use setting spray. This is the Scandinavia makeup finishing spray, the oil-free one because I'm an oily bitch. Ah. Sometimes I'll go live and I'll do my makeup and if you guys watch my live streams on Instagram sometimes you will know that I apply like a gallon of setting spray to my face. No matter the makeup look. It's just like I could use like the best primer, the best foundation, everything but like nothing conquers this oily bitch more than Scandinavia does. I'm using the boy brow from uh what's this from? Glossier. And I'm just applying a little bit of that just through my brows. We are going to take an eyebrow spoolie. I'm gonna brush my brows basically like the way I want them to be. So I get them kind of into place of where I want to be and then I take my Anastasia clear brow gel and I will go ahead and apply this. This brow gel is like holy shit. It just works so well. Anyways, that's my eyebrows. I'm gonna take my eye uh What's this called? Eyelash curler. I almost called it an eyebrow curler. And now I'm going to use my current favorite mascara and only this one because I've been liking just like a night and uh, I can't talk a nice light lash look lately. So this is the Lancome Definicillus. I can never pronounce it. Every time I go live and I'm doing my makeup and everyone's like, 
what's that mascara you always use? And I just can never get it right. Oh my god, I'm getting a text. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I put a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. It gives you that nice little, like, doll look. Look, I look like a little doll. Mm. Anyways, uh... That's it. I do nothing to my lips. I just <laughs> literally, like, sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, I'll put a little lip gloss on. But usually I just do lip balm because I'm going out to eat anyways. I'm going to pig out on a nice big meal. Lipstick's going to come off. Whatever. Anyways, I'm going to do my hair and get dressed. Um, And then I'll talk to you guys. So, bye. Alright, guys. I finished getting ready. Uh, My camera is in focus. There we go. I finished getting ready. I curled my hair, kind of. But my hair is, like, not taking it's not participating with me today is that the word you know what fuck it whatever i am wearing just a cropped shirt uh it's literally black it's plain uh plain jane it's a plain night I'm wearing just this necklace this necklace is it's just like a choker necklace from brandy my top by the way is from urban i have the gucci earrings in y'all know the signature beauty chicky gucci earrings i also have a daniel wellington watch on super cute and then my jeans are from zara they're just these blue boyfriend jeans and then of course nike airs so we're gonna go to dinner now and it's gonna be a great time because i'm fucking starving because i think all i ate on the plane was cheese so let's go we're eating today what's up guys i'm back um at my hotel me and my parents ate um and i am so tired now usually i don't get jet lagged when i come to la because i come here so much i have like like a fucking universal time clock in my body now but i'm really tired today because i got like four hours of sleep before my flight and i slept maybe like 30 minutes on my flight out of a six and a half hour flight and then we got here and we had to travel almost two hours into anaheim and it was just Ugh, I had the longest day ever. Long story short, it is 10 o'clock p.m. And normally I don't get tired till like 1 or 2 a.m. minimum. So I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I actually don't know if I'm going to end this vlog and make this vlog its own day or if i'm gonna make this into an entire weekend vlog i guess we'll see what happens but either way i will either talk to you guys tomorrow and if i don't talk to you guys tomorrow that is my alarm for my birth control shut the fuck up all right i'm gonna go now ciao ciao chickies good morning chickies it's friday it's the first day of nam so i just got ready showered makeup hair everything i'll show you guys what i'm wearing quickly all right here is the fit it's pretty casual leather jacket is from all saints my favorite store in the world my top is from bitchy favorite store in the world and then I have my jeans and my jeans are from Topshop and then my Air Forces and my bag is off white. I just did my makeup like I did yesterday and I literally just blow dry my hair because we have like no time because my parents are already like let's go. So I'm gonna run out the door now we're gonna go and it's gonna be a good time. I don't really know what to expect because this is like a music convention. It's like a music trade show. There's a lot of really old dudes walking around that look like they belong in rock bands so I don't know. But we're gonna get going now and we'll see. Really? Are you ready? You're ready. <laughs> Listen, Excuse me, you're blocking my view of the beautiful Ted Baker bag that I got. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You gotta take a lot of pictures because, like, just this morning, as we're sitting in the lobby, a gentleman walks by, and I was, like, a little starstruck, so I didn't say anything. One of the most famous drummers in the world just walked past us this morning. Oh, my a piece. He's played with everyone from Ozzy Osbourne to Rod Stewart. I didn't have the guts yeah. to say, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very impressed when I saw the map of the NAM Festival at all the little location spots, bathrooms, the will call. But most impressed when I saw the little yellow dots around the map representing the places where you can buy beer. <laughs> right to the point, a casual eater we got the pass. Apparently we live in Glendale, not correct, but it's fine. Nice. <laughs> Yay! Your 
first But yeah, but the tried. guy who said hello to him, Tozen, where did he go? He's like amazing. He's like the most amazing guitarist. brought him to a convention, to a convention. So it's kind of like really weird and flip-flopped in a way. There's my mom. <laughs> She's extremely short compared to me. I'm put my arm on her head. Tired. We're getting really tired. She's tired. How's your feet feeling? They're fucking killing me. <laughs> no, you're killing me. <laughs> I have some puppets here. Yeah, puppets with pedals. Puppets with pedals. You smell good. What do I smell like? You smell like teen spirit. Yeah. Like yep. teen spirit? Teen spirit. Yes. And now I'm gonna smell like a puppet. What's your name? Christina. Hello, hey, Christina. Christina. Hi. You guys are cute. So Thank it's cuter you. than the cuteness of the sum of our cuteness together. Tattoo. Can we see your tattoo? Sure. I have a rock and roll hand on my ankle. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, we're leaving now. Tired as shit. It's like... 6 p.m. but we have dinner reservations at 7.15 at some steakhouse. We're gonna go back to the hotel for a little bit and relax and refresh uh, and then go eat. Outfit change. Just kidding. I'm wearing like the exact same outfit. I put a bitchy hoodie on though instead because it's getting kind of cold out. I feel like being more comfortable so fanjoy.co dash beauty chicky bitch. Dinner time. Yay. Yum. Bitchy. Yeah, so Twins. We're twinning tonight. Oh, you said twining tonight. Mm. Twining? You said twining. Twining. Twinning. Twinning. <laughs> All right, boys. Food time. Love oh, this morning. Mac and cheese, french fries. What are you doing? Party people, day two of Nam. I actually didn't even end my vlog properly yesterday, but like, it's fine. Here's the fit for today. We're going a little more comfortable. I'm wearing this like turtleneck crop hoodie. Not hoodie. It's not a hoodie. It's just a sweater. It's by a brand called the Coop, the Coopals? The Capoodles? Poodles? I don't know. Anyways, we're wearing Fabletics leggings. If you guys are wondering, these are just the black Power hold the high waisted power hold leggings. Uh, power holds are my favorite from Fabletics, and they're super awesome and they're super clean, and I really love them. And then we have my shoes, my shoes are also Fabletics. And then I just have my necklaces on, my rings, my earrings, uh, and my little thing for Nams. So uh, I think we're ready to go. Woke up a little bit earlier to go today, uh, because my dad is very excited to go and he really wants to get the day started. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get my parents. And we're gonna rock and roll all day long. You know what's cool is actually today with these leggings, you could actually see my rock and roll tattoo stand out. So I wonder if anybody's gonna point it out. Probably not, but you know what? I get really excited over the tiny little things. So yeah, let's go. LAPD open up, bitch. You're under arrest for being a sexy motherfucker. Day number two. What's the goal for today? Oh, number two. Old. This is some old ass beauty chicky merch. Hit a couple of booths I didn't hit yesterday. Hopefully, meet some legendary people. Have a good craft beer in the meantime. Maybe a couple. Get some Nam merch. Check out some great new products. My See some shows too. My mom made the executive decision to wear sneakers today instead of flats that give absolutely no support. So that's what that's it good was. Good on you, mom. <laughs>
back to my freaking podcast with your host, Beauty Freaking Chicky. <laughs> Not my parents or anyone. I had to go back to the hotel because I ran out of battery and my camera I had to switch my battery out. But I'm walking back to Nam uh, right now. <laughs> We're on the hunt for some drummer that just passed that my dad wants to meet and now we're going crazy looking for him. Go, 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 go! Ah, yes! Pleasure to meet you. We're taking an IHOP break because we're all really hungry and my parents attempted to eat a burger at the convention and it was disgusting and so now we want to get some real food because IHOP is clearly real food. What have you done so far? I met one of my favorite drummers, which was a highlight, Mr. Ryan Van Kuderen. Other than that, uh, smacked on some pretty cool cymbals. Learned there's a lot of brands of cymbals out there that I didn't even know existed. And I want to eat and go back. What about you? How are you doing? I'm doing great. How's your feet today? Much better. Much better. <laughs> I have my Skechers on and they're, they got a nice soul to them. Nice. So they're really You're good really support. the Skechers right now. Use code Debbie for 20% yeah. off Skechers. people i'm back at my hotel room and i am exhausted anyways oh wrong way so i'm back in my hotel room it's like 6 30 right yeah i am like so tired me and my parents had lunch at ihop at like 2 30 3 o'clock ish so it's only been about like three three and a half hours so we're really not ready to go to uh dinner yet yes Already? Oh my god. I sit down for five minutes and someone's already at my door. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's my father. We're gonna go to Mike's hotel because he said his hotel is spectacular. We're gonna hang out in his lounge and get pizza. Later or now? A little later. All right, well, there's our plan. Anyways, me and my family weren't going to do dinner till later, but um, looks like we have a dinner plan now because originally we didn't. So I guess, you know, because we didn't really want to spend a bunch of money on dinner tonight because we've been spending like bands on dinner. We went to a steakhouse last night. The night before we went to an Italian place. We spent like a total of $600 on dinner between like two nights here. So we're like, can we like not break the bank tonight? That would be wonderful. So I guess that was, uh, you know, the thing. We're gonna go to Mike's hotel. Mike's staying at the Marriott. In the Marriott, if you guys have been to the one at the Anaheim Convention Center, you know, no, it is nice. So we're gonna go there, um, and I guess we're gonna hang out in his lounge and get a pizza. So, yeah. Anyways, I need to change my battery, and I really need to pee, and I just want to relax. So, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Ooh, I just got the chill. All right, guys, so as I said earlier, we were gonna head over to Mike's Hotel, which is the fancy schmancy Marriott Hotel, uh, to go eat some pizza. So that's what we're doing right now. I am in a sweater and sweatpants now because it's nighttime and I'm feeling lazy, but uh, we're gonna go eat some pizza, so. Let's go. Nice passenger bag. Where'd you get it? Ted Baker gave it to me. You sure about that? Because last time I recall, that's a big fat ass lie. Well, why does it say Ted Baker then? Because your wonderful daughter bought it for you from Ted Baker. I got it for him for Christmas and I went on a wild goose chase for it. I hope you know that. Excuse me, sir. Well, welcome to Los Angeles. Hi, finally made it back to my hotel. It's like 10.30-ish. I'm really, 
really exhausted. I need to just like remove my makeup, go to bed. So that is what I think uh, I am going to do. So with that being said, I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys have a great day for watching this. If you're having a great night, cool. All right, love you. Ciao, ciao, chickies. Till tomorrow. Good morning party people. It is not morning anywhere. I meant anymore. Honestly, it's like 11 a.m. So I guess it's still kind of morning going on afternoon, but uh, whatever. Anyways, I woke up this morning, had some breakfast, uh, and then packed up because me and my family are leaving this hotel right now. We're leaving Anaheim and we're going to Beverly Hills. We're going to Hollywood. But anyways, this is the outfit for today. I'm wearing the Trinity high-waisted uh, seven eight leggings from Fabletics. Oh wait, no, I completely lied. These are not the Trinity ones. You know what I'm thinking? I put the Trinity ones on because I was about to this morning. These are actually just the uh, high-waisted power holds. And then I'm wearing my Nam shirt that I got yesterday. I'm wearing Daniel Wellington watch, Brandy Melville choker, Gucci earrings, and then my rings. You guys know I wear a lot of fancy schmancy rings. And then I'm also just wearing Nikes. That's the outfit. My dad just took my luggage out of the room. You can see it's like totally empty in here. Um, and we're gonna order an Uber now, and we are going to make our long trek from Anaheim to Beverly Hills, so let's go. Earth, it's your James. <laughs> I'm sleepy. I want Nam to last for two weeks. A little too much for my knees. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I could seriously spend like a week in there. It's a lot of fun. Oh, are you excited for Beverly Hills now? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs>